Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about the allotropes of carbon. In my video on giant ionic and giant covalent structures, I mentioned diamond, graphite and fullerenes. These are all giant covalent structures and they are all entirely made from carbon. Molecules that are entirely made of carbon and form giant covalent structures are called the allotropes of carbon. There are lots of different allotropes of carbon and in this video we're going to focus on these five here. We're going to look at these allotropes of carbon in more detail. First of all we'll start with diamond. In diamond each carbon atom forms four covalent bonds with other carbon atoms. So if we take this one here, for example, we can see that it forms one, two, three, four covalent bonds with other carbon atoms. And this is because each carbon has four outer electrons and therefore it can form four covalent bonds. Now this makes diamond very hard and it gives it a very high melting point. Diamond doesn't conduct electricity and the reason for that is because it doesn't have any delocalized electrons. This is graphite. It's made of layers of hexagonal rings and each carbon atom is covalently bonded to three other carbon atoms. So we can see here hexagon shaped rings with six carbons and if we pick one carbon, let's say this one, we can see that it forms one, two, three covalent bonds with other carbon atoms. Now remember we said that each carbon has four outer electrons and these only make three bonds which means they each have one spare electron that is unbonded so each carbon atom will have one delocalized electron and each layer is weakly bonded to each layer above and below it and this means that these layers are easy to remove graphite can be used for lots of things an example would be lubrication for machinery and in pencils and this is because of the fact that it has layers that are weakly bonded to each other. Graphite is a very good conductor of electricity because it has these delocalized electron. So graphite is a good conductor. Now we move on to something called graphene. Graphene is basically a single layer of graphite, one atom thick. And just like graphite, graphene is a very good conductor of electricity. And that's because of its delocalized electrons. It's actually a better conductor than any metal because it has a very low resistance. And potentially, graphene could lead to super fast computer processors. Graphene is also very strong. It's around 200 times stronger than steel. And that's because it's made up of very strong covalent bonds. And due to these two properties, graphene is potentially very useful for electronics and for composite materials. Lastly, we're going to look at fullerenes. Fullerenes are molecules of carbon with hollow shapes. They're made up of rings of five, six or seven carbon atoms. This is called Buckminster fullerene and it's made of 60 carbon atoms. It was the first fullerene to be discovered. If we take a look at Buckminster fullerene, we see that it's made up of a series of pentagons with five sides and hexagons with six. So it's a bit like a football. This is a carbon nanotube. Carbon nanotubes are also fullerenes. Imagine a graphene sheet rolled up into a tube shape. These tubes have very useful properties similar to graphene. They are very strong and their strength makes them useful for structural purposes, such as making tennis rackets, which are very light but strong. They are also excellent conductors of electricity. What makes them so good at conducting electricity is the delocalized electrons that they have. Again, very similar to graphene. And this makes them potentially very important for future electronics uses. Okay, so that was a video on the allotropes of carbon. We went through diamond, graphite, fullerenes, 
and graphene. I hope the video helped. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.